hello internet people I've got a new printer it's a Creality K1C um, I'm gonna print a Benchy on its test mode hopefully in some silky colored PLA which is blue and red I think and um, it goes bloody quick it's mental once I've done that, then I think what we'll do is we'll put in the Hyper PLA, which come with the printer, and print the 600mm uh, a second test print. So this bench is supposed to take 16 minutes. We're going to video it in real time. We will have the Creality K1C's time-lapse camera, which is in the corner doing its thing as well. It's going to do it some calibration and then it will start a rather quick benching. Then we shall change the filament to the hyper stuff. And uh, you can see how mental this thing actually is. So I'm used to printing on things like my any cubic ivory mega, uh, which to print a bench took about two hours. Um, I have a Creality CR10S Pro. Again, it would take about an hour and a half, two hours to print it. I've got several 3D printers that all take about two hours to print a Benji. Not that I print them often, but you know, this thing's impressive. Um, so hopefully in a minute we shall let rip. just heating the bed and then it should do a uh, bed level it's doing a calibration Hopefully this is a good angle. I'll put the um, time lapse from the Creality camera, which isn't that good to be honest, but I'll put that up straight after this video as well. Clip maybe. And then we'll stick in some hyper white PLA and do the mental test. Oh, and uh, the GoPro is strapped to the front of the machine with a uh, mount that I designed about half an hour ago and printed down um, our carbon fiber PLA. And we're shooting through the glass screen as well. Right, so we're going to heat the bed up. It's going up to 220 degrees. I think it's 45 on the bed it's going to print at. Um, you'll probably notice it's not the standard Creality bed. I upgraded the bed to one with a nice little pattern on it because that's fun. And uh, I just stuck the little silicon nozzle wipe strip down with some high temperature um, double-sided tape that I can't remember its name of. Hopefully uh, this will work. Not tried it in this PLA yet. We are using uh, the latest firmware as well. So hopefully it prints 
on this uh, bed without falling off. Shall we adjust you up a bit? I think that might be better. Let's adjust you like that. So I've just realised that we've been recording now for nearly six minutes. So your 16 minute benchy is actually not 16 minutes. a white PLA, hopefully it doesn't vibrate itself off the top of the printer.
got 11 minutes to go. I'm not sure this is actually the best bit of them for it. Been sitting around for a while. Nine minutes to go, apparently. Um, the printer, have it plugged into a kilowatt type meter, uh, at the moment it's using 84.3 watts. It does go up to about 350 watts, I presume when the bed cools down and the nozzle cools down a little bit it heats itself back up and uses quite a bit of power there. watts about that's just peak tech.
go, little Benji, go. Well, if anybody's interested, I'm actually printing this uh, here Benji um, from the power of the sun. Um, not the power of the sun, the newspaper, where uh, on page three you get to see boobies. Um, but the power of the actual sun, the big bright ball in the sky. Um, I've been printing all day on this here machine. And I've used 52 amp hours of battery. And that's done a good 12 hours of printing. I've been printing since 8 o'clock in the morning. And it's now nearly 10 o'clock at night. So you can't argue with that. That of course is lithium batteries. I don't know what a lead acid battery would do. Probably die within about five minutes. left apparently Three minutes to go. I think I'll do a giveaway um, at the end of the video. Oh, sorry, let's do it now. The first person to comment on this video will win this very benchy. I will post it to you. So you'll need to send me a private message on the YouTube to say that you was the first commenter. I will check that. Send me your name and address, your bank account details, and a deposit of £500, and I will post this out to you. I promise. If you send me a £1,000, I'll post it out first class. Oh, little Benji, two minutes to go. So leave those comments, call me a cock. The first person that comments cock will get nothing.
got a minute to go. Doing little benches roof. I'm not going to pause the video, I'm just going to pull the filament out. Change to the hyper stuff and start the next print. And hopefully it won't go wrong. If it does, I'll pause the video and start again. Anyway, for today's video sponsor, um, thank you to Jam Shed for a lovely glass of red wine. If you'd like to send me a bottle of Jam Shed, like and subscribe. There we go, right, that is Benji done. I'm gonna take the lid off. We'll let it park itself. While it's still parked, I'm gonna click that. Pull out. This is not the recommended way of doing it, by the way. You do have an extrude function on your uh, menu options. Right, that's coloured stuff out. Stuff I've always in. If it goes in. Didn't turn the end. Going in, push, lock it in. Right, I'm going to reach down here, pull Benji off, OK you, back to files, 600 millimetre second test, um, there's a close-up of the benchy while it's doing its thing. It actually come out very, very well. I'm just hanging my hand through the top. Better move it out before I get stuck. I'll put the lid back on. You're not supposed to print with the lid on with PLA, um, but I have made some risers. Hopefully I pushed the white hyper stuff through enough to do its thing. It's going to go through its whole levelling process again. I'm going to adjust you up a bit to here. I hope that bit of PLA that's stuck to the bed there that I missed doesn't cause a problem. Let's uh, retrieve it quickly. Retrieve. I'm going to adjust you up some more like than that, I think. I'm sure it's already done that, but I don't 
don't think it does a purge line for this. very hot has uh, made the um, thingy a bit soft I'll tighten that more hopefully that works It's going to heat to 240 degrees C. Sixty on the build plate. All it's doing is purge. Hopefully that purges out some white. If you can see white on the purge line, comment. I can see white. Oh no, it's uh, doing blue still. Oh. Oh, then it's going white. That's good. Doesn't look particularly fast, does it? It's not fast at all. I thought this thing was supposed to print at 600 millimeters a second squared. It doesn't look any faster than the other printer. What's going on? I'm a bit disappointed in this. It's going very slow. Far too slow for my liking. Oh, wait, there we go. Seven minutes left to go. And as you can see, it's steaming along. It's like Stevenson's rocket or the Flying Scotsman. Or me after a curry.
if the guy will miss. Well, that's uh, sticking a benchy. Open a door. That's the benchy. I'll put that at the back. But if the GoPro picks that up, you will see that there are barely any layer lines in that. But that's amazing how quickly that thing fucking prints. Anyway, if you have watched the video to the end without killing yourself, shooting yourself, or hanging yourself, uh, click the like button and comment. I didn't shoot myself in the face. Um, I will leave links to the printer, and if I can find a link to the PLA that I put that in, I will link a link, leave a link for that. Um, Once I've dialed in the STL for the GoPro mount that sits quite comfortably on the front, or it can go at the side over there. I'll just show you that So you could put it there for a different perspective, but obviously the front is the best. Um, I will uh, post an STL file of that on somewhere with a link down below anyway uh, thanks for watching like subscribe comment you're a cop um or i didn't kill myself buy something from one of my affiliate links from amazon so i can buy more alcohol and um pa and printers and pray for good weather so i can get back to doing after photography anyway hope you enjoyed this very long video good night Where's the off button?